How does the new bike feeling, Jake? Oh, it feels great. What's up machine freaks? Welcome to another 3D Machines production. I am here at Mr. Jake the Toilet Snakes and here's his bike. He just got this thing rebuilt. He he put a lot of money into this thing. I'll let him explain once he gets down here. But he's getting some soapy water so that we can install something else to help him in the future and to help my bike in the future. And then here's the IT. How'd the IT end up doing at the race last time? It ran quite flawlessly for all the American muscle. American Japanese muscle. <laughs> <laughs> Old ass Japanese muscle. So Jake ended up coming in fourth place with this bike in an open class, right? So like any CCs, any any strokeage, two stroke, four stroke, any CCs, four fifties, one twenty fives. Were there any? There probably wasn't anything under a one twenty five, right? There probably wasn't any one twenty fives. Okay, so most, like most people that race the open class race an open class because their bike is bigger than 250 cc's. And this is a 200. So he took a 1984 Yamaha uh, IT 200 and came in fourth place in an open class. Jake's a good rider. Like, I, I give it to you, Jake. You're, you're a hell of a better rider than I am. But he got his real bike back. This thing should smoke that thing. It does. So if, if you can come in fourth place on that, you can definitely do better on this bike. Think so? But uh, I mean, I, c I can see all these new gaskets, Jake. So I can see that this sucker's been rebuilt. Did, you, did it take all your value money? <laughs> <laughs> Most of it. <laughs> Rebuilt crank and new top end with a fresh re sleeving on the cylinder. Do you want to say how much it cost you? No. Oh yeah, so Jake can't afford to go to college anymore. He put all his money into his dirt bike. He's got his bike all done. He, he can rock and roll this. He's back on team uh, KTM instead of Yamaha, so that's, I mean, that might be a good thing, that might be a bad thing, but <laughs> I do know that this is newer and it should perform better than that. But we have something to try to help maintain, you know, his knowledge of this engine. And it's right in my tote here. Two tachometers. So this will let you know exactly how many hours are on your bike, Jake, and you can kind of, you know, do your maintenance off of that. These things come we, in clutch. Why are we doing two? One for my bike, one for your bike. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'll have a link to these in the description if you want one. Waterproof. Yeah. It, it even tells your RPMs, huh? Yeah. This is really cool. Uh, yeah, it's like really easy to install too. All you gotta do is wrap it around the spark plug wire and then mount it. It's like super easy. It's like a five-year-old can do it. <laughs> This is literally all it is. You just have to tie this around the spark plug wire like five times they suggest. And then literally take this piece of tape off and put it on your frame. Dude, it smells like spray paint up in here. That's what that uh, wow. smells like. Jake, thanks for cleaning my air filter for me. Oh, no problem. Jake's air filter cleaned up pretty good. Mine didn't clean up so good, so I'm just gonna have to buy a new one. I have my tachometer completely installed. I have my gas tank installed. So I wanna start it up and see how it works. It's just bothering me how simple it really is. So if it works, th that's what I have to see right now. Look at this guy. What kind of frog is that? One of the sticky ones. Is it a tree frog kind of thing? Yeah, like you can climb on the windows. Oh, really? Yeah, like if you stick them on that glass over there. I don't, I don't, don't, don't touch them. You got all the. Yeah. Food. Everybody's talking about the good old days. You're in the shot, buddy. Got the bikes back together. I got my tech on. Jake's got his tech on. We haven't tested his yet. Is he gonna work? Did you zip tie it good? I zip tied it great. Great? Perfect? Get off. Oh!
up. Point two hours, buddy. What do you got? Point two hours. Woo! Team point two hours. Yeah! <laughs> Muffler mounts loose. Run it. Probably not. Oh, no, yeah. Yeah, that's kind of cool. I'll see if I can do that. He bump started it on top of this thing. Nope. It's too deep to put my feet in. Jake and I went for a little ride. Got mine broken for Tooth. the race on Sunday. So he's breaking his in. He spent a lot of money with this thing and he kind of wants to break it in the right way or, or try to break it in the right way. Mm -hmm. So instead of just going, Rah! Jake's all hyped up. I mean, you can't tell, but he's super stoked right now. He's amazed with how his bike's performing right now. I mean, this thing, this thing's doing well, Jake. I'm ready to get on it, though. Jack. Yeah. <laughs> ah! Sunday morning will probably be the first time I pin it, and that'll be for the whole shot. What, what would you do if she just seized right up? Like, I would be pissed. <laughs> it just... What? I'd be really embarrassed, because there's people behind me, and they'd be like... <laughs> Go around, go around. Well, Jake, I wish you and your bike luck. So we enjoyed our ride. We got our new tachometers on. We kind of know how many hours are on each bike. I'm sure Jake's going to beat me because he can ride whenever he wants to. I got to kind of drive up here and, and get to it. But I'll probably have double the amount of hours Dalton has. Probably, probably. But I just like the idea of the hour meter now finally so I can... I have an idea of how many mo or hours are on the motor exactly because this is a fresh rebuild. So I can be like, okay, I got 85 hours out of this top end or like... I'm gonna change my oil every five hours, or like gearbox oil and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And it and it tucks away pretty nice. Yeah. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this 3D Machines production and Jake the Toilet Snakes production. We got we got we had fun. Until tomorrow. 3D Machines out.